What's up guys, once again, we are looking at photo editing software powered by AI. This is called Aftershoot, and about a year ago, I did a video on the software, but they have done some massive changes to this software, so I wanted to revisit it. Unlike other programs that only edit photos, this one will cull your images for you as well. So if you shoot 2,000 images at a wedding, this software will automatically choose the best images. I know that sounds scary and too good to be true, but what I really like about this program is not only does it do all of the culling for you, it also categorizes everything and shows you what it's done and gives you the option to quickly override any decisions that it's made. Now, even a year ago, the software was very impressive, but they've recently come out with a completely new update with massive improvements, especially focused on the editing portion. So we're going to go through an entire photo shoot here. I'm gonna test it out and show you how it works. When this program first came out, the only way to edit your photos with it was to train it with Lightroom catalogs from other very big jobs that you've already shot and edited. Some photographers are gonna love that because they have a signature style and they just want the software to replicate what they're already doing. Other photographers are probably like me and they say, well, yeah, that sounds good, but what if there's an automatic setting that looks even better than the way I edit? And they have finally added that to this software. On this home screen here, you can click on Marketplace. Now, here in the marketplace, you're going to see a bunch of different photo styles. These were created by Aftershoot themselves or different photographers. Some of these are free, some of these cost money. But what I really like about this is you can quickly see if you like the way these look, you just double click on one. And then using the slide over feature, you can see if you like this style or not. Uh, this one created by Aftershoot here doesn't appear to be giving much of a style change. It kind of just seems to be uh, creating like a correct exposure on these images. I would like to test something with a little bit more of a signature look. This one by Lily Red here is super cool. This style gives each image this warm, smooth tone to it. I really like the way this looks. Um, not a significant change, but you know, it just goes from an image that looks like it was taken straight out of camera to a polished, finished image. 100% of this money goes to the creator, which is super cool. And you can test it out on 500 images totally for free. All right, to get back to the home screen, we click on this little home icon in the upper left and we click on new album. And this is where we upload our images. So I recently did some family photos. Let's import all 627 raw files. Along the top here, you'll see import, cull, and edit. I want to cull these images first. We have 627 to get through. I probably wanna drop it down to under 100. So let's click cull up here. And then in the bottom right, we can click start culling. And I want the computer to do as much as possible. So I am going to click on AI automated culling. First, it's asking what type of photo shoot this is. This is family portrait, so I'm going to choose that. It's, next up, it's asking how many images I want the AI to choose for me. I'm going to choose few here. And last, it's asking if you want to overwrite existing stars and colors. I'm going to leave that and click start culling. All right, it just wrapped up. That took approximately four and a half minutes to get through 627 images. Everything has been rated and categorized automatically and we can see each one of these options on the right. Uh, selected, it chose 191 images. It rated them five stars. The highlighted images are what the program thinks are the best images. Uh, blurred images, it found 20 blurry images. Closed eyes, seven images. And down here we can click on all to see all of the images taken. Under that, you'll see the biggest time saver of all, and that is duplicates. It found 378 images that were very similar to other images, and it chose the best one for us. So if we click on duplicates here, it's just gonna show us the bad images that were similar to other ones. Now, if you wanna be as careful as possible and you wanna make sure that every image deliverable is delivered, click on the all section and just go through every single image and make sure that the program made the right decisions. But if you wanna go through this a little bit more quickly, you could just click on selected here and go through each one of these images. I'm going to double click on this first image here. In this view, I'm going to use the right and left keys to cycle through these images. And then when I get to an image that has duplicates or very similar images, you'll see on this fourth image here, Using the up and down arrows, I can cycle through these duplicates. And the one right here, 
that is highlighted in green is the one that the software chose as the best image. If I, for example, thought this one was the best image, you can change the rating manually by hitting one through five on the number pad, or you can press the S key to swap the ratings if you find an image you like more. You can press the letter D at any time to add an image to my selections. You can press X to reject any image and automatically rate it zero stars. And you can press the letter Z to reject all of the images from a particular set. Now we're getting into group shots with multiple people, and this is where it can be extremely slow in Lightroom because you're having to double click and zoom in on every image and check out the facial expression, see what they look like, see if their eyes are closed. This software makes this much, much faster. So you, as you can see, it automatically zooms into each face on the upper right hand corner of the screen. And then down here on the image itself, there's a little smiley face. It says show key face scores. And what that's going to do is create these little icons under each face. It's going to show you if their eyes are open and what the focus is like on each person's face. And of course I was shooting multiple images. Those are under the duplicate section, just like the other shot. So I can cycle through those using the up and down keys and I can look at my facial expressions in the upper right hand corner. It's way faster than using Lightroom. So this is a great example here why you want a human to double check what the software is doing. As you can see, the baby in her arms here, can I zoom in, has a hand in front of his face. And in doing that, he's blocking his face from the shot. The computer doesn't even recognize that as being a person. So it says, hey, all of the people are looking at the camera. They're in focus. The eyes are open. This is the best shot of the group. But as we know, that's not true. That's a baby right there. So let's see if, by hitting up and down if we can find a better shot of that baby. This one's better of the baby, but as we can see, the husband's eyes are closed. So that one's not gonna work. So I actually think this is the best shot here. It's not perfect of the baby. Everybody else in the family looks perfect though. So I'm gonna rate this five and then go back to that original image where the baby's hand is covering the face, rate that one. All right, I got through the calling. That process should take approximately five or 10 minutes if you're doing it without recording a video like this. And when you're done, click back over to the grid view and you can see that we have selected 42 images and highlights nine images. In the bottom right hand corner, we're going to click save changes. And then up in the middle, we're going to click edit. The first thing that you're going to choose is your AI profile, either your personal profile that you've trained to edit images like you, or remember at the beginning of this video, we chose to download one called Lily Red. I am going to click on that one. Now, here are three new updates that this software can do that the previous one couldn't. Cropping your images automatically, straightening images if your horizon isn't perfect, and automatic masking, which means this software will automatically find the subject in every single image, cut them out, and do small changes to the foreground and background to make your subjects pop. And for the editing filter, we only want to edit four and five star images, so we're going to unclick everything else and click edit 51 photos. All right, fair warning, the first time I did this, it didn't work. I had to update my Adobe DNG converter. You can Google it. Once I had that, the edit worked, and then you click on review 51 photos. We could export these raw files into another photo editor. In the past, this only worked with Lightroom and Capture One, but now you can drag and drop images to almost any application and they will work. And click the program that you're going to be doing the final edits in. For me, it's Lightroom Classic. All right, I've made a virtual copy of each one of these so we can see the edited shot and then the original. Huge differences here. So far, every single one of these shots is just perfect out of the software. I was interested to see how the AI cropping would work, but it's done a really good job. It's just a, a faint little crop when it needs it. Most of these shots just Barely tweaked. This software is now supposed to be much better with exposure and white balance, especially if you're moving in between very different lighting scenarios like inside, outside, darkly lit, very bright sunlight, backlit. Obviously everything in this photo shoot's pretty uniform, but if you're a wedding photographer, you know what I'm talking about. And this software is supposed to be significantly better than the last iteration. Yeah, I have not found a single image that it has messed up on every single one of these shots is not just a little bit better, but way, way better. If you wanna see even more real world examples, Aftershoot has created this community called Straight Out of Aftershoot. I've linked it below. You can check out real images that are directly out of Aftershoot that have been unedited by the photographers. This is straight out of the software. 
So that gives you a quick rundown of how this software works. As always, guys, do not go out and buy software without trying it. If it's legit software, they're going to give you some sort of trial. Aftershoot is giving a 30-day free trial, and they wanted you to know if you tried this a year ago and you weren't interested for whatever reason, they are unlocking another 30-day trial. So check it out totally for free in the link below. And if you do decide to buy, use the coupon code to save some money. See you next time, guys.